Hi, my name is Miwa Kim. I'm an assistant professor of research in UTIGV, University of Texas of Rio Grande Valley. My name is Liza Morales. I'm a research associate also with UT Rio Grande Valley. We're part of the School of Medicine. It's a new, actually, medical school that was founded in 2015. Uh, we're very excited about our new medical school. As, uh, Dr. Kim, she is in the Department of Biomedical Sciences, and currently I'm actually in with the South Texas Diabetes and Obesity Institute. Uh, questions. Why you choose to conduct this research? When I joined um, Kim's lab in 2014, over the 2015, at the time, he has already have a previous data for this particular nuclear translocation in skin carcinogenesis. In his grant, he wanna promote his data. He wanna he wanna find the mechanism of translocation. So how does it work in a nucleus or the cytosol? At the time, uh, it's a, I think it's a very big story because. TCPTP has known to be in localized in nucleus, in other uh, cell lines, not skin cell. So if I found uh, the, this mechanism, so we could uh, know, we, can, we could uh, develop the, the role of TCPTP in nucleus or the skin carcinogenesis. So it's um, very interesting. So I started that study. Yes, so in general, the phosphotyrosine signaling, you know, it's involved in a lot of different cellular processes. And so kinases, which usually are responsible for phosphorylating proteins and activating them, they've been very well studied within different types of cancers and things like that. But we're actually now trying to look at the counterpart to kinases, which is protein tyrosine phosphatases. And TCPTP is as one of them, as Dr. Kim mentioned, our primary investigator, Dr. Dejan Kim, had found that STAT3, it's a major transcription factor, very critical to uh, the development of skin cancer. He found that TCPTP was one of the major phosphatases to regulate STAT3. And so, um, as, again, as Dr. Kim mentioned, we were delving into TCPTP and its regulation of STAT3 and uh, found, you know, that TCPTP has potential as a tumor suppressor. And this mechanism um, that we talk about in the paper, again, as she mentioned, TCPTP is actually more known because of its, its nuclear localization sites to be found within the nucleus of most cells. And what this mechanism is actually showing is that it, within keratinocytes, specifically skin cells, it's actually located within the cytoplasm and then you expose it to a stress such as UVB radiation, and it can actually be translocated into the nucleus where then it acts upon, you know, for example, step three. Yeah, actually, this finding is a tip of the iceberg because uh, tyrosine phosphatase has uh, several phosphatase, phosphorylation sites. So we have already um, uh, have mutant types. So we want to develop uh, that function in nuclear translocation, other uh, experimental stress. Is it possible I want to find a uh, look for a different mechanism in skin carcinogenesis and uh, cell apoptosis? Because the, the TCBTV can have many other substrates other than STAT3, so there's a potential that it's regulating, you know, many different signaling pathways, which, you know, are activated by transcription factors or other substrates within the nucleus. And, you know, how are those pathways involved in different aspects of skin cancer development or even within the uh, keratinocytes themselves? Dr. Mm -hmm. Kim, is in our lab has shown, uh, you know, that TCPTP is important for keratinocyte um, survival and proliferation yeah, and differentiation. So, and another question. <laughs> Now, what you found to be the most challenging or rewarding aspect of your research? Mm. So, in my case, transfection because a skin and a primary keratinocyte is a very 
difficult to be transfected uh, by using general method, transfection method. So we need uh, many times to uh, find the condition. So, and then after maybe at the writing part, so we have to appeal to the previous research researchers. Yes, yes because as we mentioned, you know, TCBTB is more known to be um, with already within the nucleus. So this was kind of new data showing that there is a potential that it's actually within the cytoplasm, and then there is a specific me mechanism for in cells where it's translocated to the nucleus to be activated or triggered and to perform its regulatory um, activities. In my case, uh, when I started this work, so is it possible to his previous uh, data? So I'm a little bit confused because the transcription problem, because of transcription, uh, transcription problem, I have uh, difficulties to uh, elucidate this data because the TCPTP localized the boundary, the nucleus membrane. So, you know, the skin is a very sensitive tissue. So, cells, when I uh, stress a little bit, nuclear translocation is very faster and easier. So, yeah, the time transfection condition is very difficult. But when I found that this, uh, this finding, I'm very, I realized that it is starting to research. So I'm so very happy. Yeah. yeah, and actually, and then also too, as you see in the paper, the, the data show that this mechanism is actually very crit critical for TCPTP activity, um, because if you have, you know, a mutation um, that affects the, the target site that allows for the, you know, translocation by AKTE and 1433 sigma, um, you lose this nuclear translocation yeah. and it affects TCPTP mediated regulation of like step three. What research you would you like to see done in the picture as a response to your finding or what research you will be doing yourself in the future? Right before I mentioned, I have several mutants type for TCPTP, so I want to find a, a novel mechanism of TCPTP uh, in nuclear translocation and, you know, I want to find a substrate for TCPTP which pertains to work together with the TCPTP in skin carcinogenesis. So that is my next process. And overall, part of the reason our PI uh, wanted to study at our particular university, we're located in South Texas. Being in South Texas, you know, there's a lot of exposure to UV, sunlight, mm -hmm. these yeah. types of things. So we're in a good region where it's an area for, you know, potential for skin cancer. And so these these projects can all lead to you know identifying you know a novel new target developing uh, therapies for prevention and treatment of skin cancer.